President Obama, on the same day that there was the horrible, tragic naval yard mm-hmm. attack, 13 Americans were killed in Washington, D.C., in the Navy Yard. That day, President Obama waived a ban on selling arms to terrorists. Now, this is hard to believe, but President Obama did that. You can go to my website if you want to, bachman.house.gov. I've got the article. But President Obama waived a ban on arming terrorists in order to allow weapons to go to the Syrian opposition. And let me just read from one article. It says, some elements of the Syrian opposition are associated with radical Islamic terror groups, including al-Qaeda, which was responsible for the September 11th attacks in New York, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and Washington. This is amazing. The Arms Export Control Act, President Obama waives the prohibitions in sections 40 and 40A so that... Your listeners, U.S. taxpayers, are now paying to give arms to terrorists, including al-Qaeda. Now, this didn't get much notice in the press because it happened the same day as those 13 attackers. It happened the same week as 137 or more were killed in Nairobi, Kenya, in that terrible mall shooting. The same week as over 100 Christians were killed in a church in Peshawar in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. We had a week of bloodshed, including Iraq, including Afghanistan, including Iran. There was a lot of bloodshed that was going on. So people didn't hear about this. But but this happened, and as of today, the United States is willingly, knowingly, intentionally sending arms to terrorists. Now, what this says to me, as I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, as I look at the end time scripture, this says to me that the leaf is mm-hmm. on the fig tree. And we are to understand the signs of the yeah. times, which is your ministry. We are to understand where we are in God's end time history. This isn't to cause us fear. This is to cause us, I believe, as believers in Jesus Christ, to grow up and mature in our faith and embrace. The prophets said they long to look to this time. Mm-hmm. The prophets long to look into the future, to see these days of his coming and herald his coming. And we're privileged to live in them. Yes, we are privileged. Rather than seeing this as a negative, Negative, Jan, we need to rejoice. Mm-hmm. Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. His day is at hand. And so when we see up is down and right is called wrong, when this is happening, we were told this, that these days would be as the days of Noah. We are seeing that in our time. Yes, it gives us fear in some respects because we want the retirement that our, our parents enjoyed. We want our children and grandchildren to have wonderful, positive lives. Well, they will. If they know Jesus Christ, and if they know the glorious future that is set out for all of mankind, not just Americans, not just conservatives, but every human being that God ever created, that should give us and impel us on into the gospel. 